I do research at the intersection of neuroscience and the law. I try to understand criminal policy. One of the, the tools that I've always been lacking for my analysis of big data is analytics. Uh, in the past, I've always been forced to ask an expert on what to do, and I wanted to skip that step and become an expert myself. I explored lots of programs, but unfortunately, most of them are either online only or full-time. And one of the unique traits of this program is it's a part-time or online and part-time program. I need the structure of a classroom. I need to work with people that are motivated. And here at Texas A&M Analytics, they've picked a great group of students. Companies have spent a lot of time perfecting the art of collecting data. And every company has a dashboard, so they can tell you where, how they're performing right now. But the trouble with dashboards, it's like driving along Interstate 10 by looking out the back window. The dashboard tells you what's happening today at best. A predictive model will tell you what's going to happen tomorrow, or what's going to happen in a week's time, or what's going to happen in a month's time. And then you have all that opportunity to change the future. Predictive modelling will allow companies to gain a great competitive advantage. And I think as time goes forward, those who master this new skill, the competitive advantage will in fact actually grow larger. More and more our clients are demanding that we use big data analytics as a tool in our toolbox. Noticing that, I started looking for programs that would allow me to learn the skills and the tools that I needed um, to provide that level of service to our clients. The purpose for Mays Business School here at City Center is to provide higher education programs for the working professional. All of our students in all three programs currently have jobs and they go to school here full time. That's not something that you can do everywhere. We have a program that's for distance learning and we also have face-to-face -face programs. So there's something for everyone here at our location in Houston. The MS Analytics degree at Texas A&M is a partnership with the Mays Business School. Our curriculum is 75% statistics and 25% business. We focus on the predictive modeling piece in analytics. This could be predicting revenue, predicting loss, or predicting failure to reduce risk and increase revenue. In the industry that I'm in, we have petabytes upon petabytes of data that's just waiting to be unlocked. And really the only way to get at it is analytics. Analytics is the key to unlock the potential of that data. Without it, it's just too much to actually grasp and to, to, to consume. You know, if you try to do the old traditional ways where you're taking and you're putting up a report, whether it be a bar chart or whatever, you can't do it. You know, you, you need analytics. You need analytics to give you that insight. You need analytics to, to give you, to bring that value up to the top. Any kind of value that you can find in the data that, to save your company money, to save your company time, it's just that much more valuable, especially today. There needs to be some science behind those thinking skills. Being able to validate a decision process or a creative problem solving, or as I said, a collaboration situation with science, with data, that proves to the organizations that is doable for all of them with tangible results. So it is not only about the statistics, although statistics were very important, but how they can be applied to business scenarios. Aggie Analytics is an exciting new professional master's degree. A degree focused on statistical methods applied to big data. It's a cohort-based program and the technology allows us that when the students work in groups, they're sharing desktops and they're solving the same problems together. In this environment, you learn as much from your peers as you do your professors, so the work experience that they bring to the table is very helpful. The student that we output in the MS Analytics degree at Texas A&M will be someone that can take data from a variety of sources, put it together, clean it up, build a complicated predictive model, and then turn around and explain it in layman's terms to clients or board members. And this skill right now is hard to find in our job market. Students that do well in our program come from quantitative backgrounds, have completed at least one statistics course with an A or a B, and are passionate about data and analytics. We teach our program in an executive learning style environment, so we require students to have at least three years of full-time work experience. We reach out to work in professionals. We understand that our students have a full-time job. We understand that they have a life outside of work and sometimes don't have the time to go out and navigate the whole system that is the university, which can be very complex at times. 
So what we offer is that service for our prospective students and our admitted students as a service for them. So we are their liaison to the university. It makes the student feel a little bit more comfortable saying that they are properly and well taken care of on our end. Something that we implemented just recently is what we call casual coffee conversations with our students. We link up our server with our distance students and we just sit down for 30 minutes and we try to bring the same conversations that we have with our live students with our distance students. And that's what really sets us apart as a program and on the customer service standpoint. Technology here at Mays Business School in Houston is state of the art, but we also offer top of the line distance learning in our analytics program so that you could be anywhere in the world and participate in the uh, master's program here. So when they travel in, they're able to take advantage of the amenities here at City Center from the nightlife to the restaurants, but also other amenities here in Houston during their stay. Being in Houston, I love the fact that I could go and be in person in the classroom, but also when, when work or, or personal life called for it, I could also dial in remotely, uh, I could review lectures after the fact, and not have to take time away from work to, to get this degree done. Last semester, I probably was out at a distance half of the classes, so being able to just you know, finish my work at whatever I am and get online, very simple, useful tools, and connect and actually interact, which is one of my favorite features of being at a distance, being to actually be able to ask questions and interact and, and know what's going on in the classroom. Uh, made it very effective for me to really learn just the same as if, it, if I was at the classroom. One of my favorite features has been Dr. Sheather's introductory statistics class. It provided a really great overview of a lot of facets of statistics and a lot of the analytical tools that we've used throughout the program. One of the incredible cornerstones of the program is that each student does a five semester major capstone project using data from their own organisation. They go through every step from getting approval from their boss, from collecting the data, building a predictive model, solving a business problem and then producing a presentation that they can share back at work. It's an incredible experience. It's one of the most wonderful things we do and because each project is different, it's one of the most difficult things that we do but it's also one of the most satisfying. This program for me was exactly what I was looking for because I wanted to, for a long time, learn how to do more than just pull the data and provide it to users. So I wanted to be able to analyze the data myself and help with the prediction and all of these things that are now coming up because all these companies have lots of data. Through the program, I've learned data mining, text mining, different techniques, and with my job at a restaurant company, I've been able to apply it through looking through Yelp comments and other social media segments that our customers are saying to get overall trend analysis of how they feel and issues and problems or compliments what our restaurants are doing right. That's something I've been able to directly apply to my current position with my company. This is a professional master's degree, so you have to teach people real skills. The Department of Statistics has been ranked by US News and World Report twice, and we've been ranked in the top five in terms of departments of statistics in public universities. And the rankings of the Mays Business School speaks for themselves. They're in the top 20 whichever way you do the rankings. This is the first time that I've been able to directly apply something that I've learned in the classroom uh, into my work life very next day. I think also just being known as the, the go-to guy for, for data and data analytics at work is, is really gratifying as well. I didn't expect that so soon into the program.